My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop and uh, someone asked me a question about these things. Thrust washers and why are they used? What is the difference between a washer and a thrust washer? A thrust washer is basically um, machined. This has been surface ground. You can see the lines in it. Can you see the lines in it? Can you see the lines? So you can see the lines in it. It's been surface ground. So basically thrust washers are more precise in a sense than just your regular uh, washer like this. This has been pretty, you can see this is fucking mullered and pressed, but this has been just basically stamped out of some steel. Uh, cold working process where this has been the same kind of thing. It's originally been stamped out of steel, but then they've basically surface ground it and uh, made both of these sides perfectly um, parallel to one another. So why do we need thrust washers? Well, in this instance, you can see that we have our spinny spinny first gear on the input output shaft. And you can see that basically this entire surface here, with my pointer, this entire surface here is level. This is all flush, this is all flat. Now, this is the bearing that sits on the other side of it. So basically, this sits on the end of the shaft. Shaft actually it goes that way, and it has a retention ring in it to stop it flying out of the case. This is actually uh, a thrust clip. This just stops the bearing just backing in and out whenever it wants to. And these two surfaces here, so this outer race and this inner race, these are also flat and flush together. So if you put these together like this, what would happen is, is your outer race and your inner race are both rubbing against the gear. Well, in this instance, your outer race is meant to be stationary and your inner race is the one that rotates. So that basically, we put some dots on that, you'll be able to bloody see what's going on. So there's our outer race, there's our inner race, uh, our shaft, sorry. Uh, in a race, if we hold our outer race still, I don't know whether you can see that, there we fucking go. So you see the shaft and the inner race are meant to rotate together and the outer race is meant to basically be locked still. And then your balls, you can see in their cages, are all rolling around all good fun party times. The problem with this setup is that now our outer race and our inner race are now rubbing... Um, and you've got to remember, this entire shaft is this gear is spinning when it's locked into gear. So when that's locked into gear like that, our entire shaft here is rotating, which means that because our outer race is staying still, it means the gear is rubbing against our outer race, which is no good because it'll wear this shit out. And we don't want that. So what we do is we stick a thrust washer. You can see where the contact patch is. You can see in it where there's a nice shiny bit and a dirty outer bit. And you can see on the gear as well, you can see on the gear where that's been sat against it, you can see this polished side there. So when our gear goes on, we put a thrust washer on. Now our thrust washer, if you can see, is the size of our inner race, but not our outer race. And when we put that on there like that, and this on here like so, what it does is it spaces the outer race like so, away from the gear so it's not rubbing. If I turn it around, it's a bit clearer. And I will take a picture. So from them two pictures I'll put up now, you can see that there's uh, no washer and with washer and you can see the gap that's appeared between the outer race and the inner race. I might be able to demonstrate now, if I spin that around, you can see that spinning. If I take this off, put that on, yeah, you can hear it rubbing. as it stops dead due to the friction. Obviously, if this is spinning like a crazy bastard, then um, you know, you're gonna get a lot of heat build up, a lot of wear. You can now listen to it. And that rubbing has gone, so absolutely fantastic. We have just invented a thrust washer. <laughs> Basically, it's a spacer at the end of the day. Um, we call them, it's, it's, it's more of a space than a thrust washer, but you can also see in a sense what thrust washers do. We'll have a look at the crank um, in the future and we'll do a video on that where you can see um, crank end play and stuff like that, which is very, very important for two strokes. But uh, as it, it's, it is important with four strokes as well, but they have other means of being able to secure themselves from thrusting too much. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.